We've talked about past revision here on this channel, and in fact, I'm gonna be diving deeper into it tomorrow. But today, I wanted to talk about something a little different. We're gonna be talking about revision in the moment. So present tense, revision. When something's going down in your 3D world and you don't like it, how do you deal with it? That's what we're talking about in this episode of Roxy Talks. Stay tuned. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching and we can discuss your specific issue, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at roxytalks.com. And of course, that link is in the description below. And we also have some super awesome exclusive Roxy Talks merch. Today we are featuring the self-manifested tea. This is a big one because what do we say on this channel? I am a self-manifested billionaire, right? This one's got self-manifested on the front and Roxy Talks logo on the back, of course. You can get this in hoodie form, t-shirt, coffee mug, phone case, you name it. You can get it in the shelf below in this video here on YouTube and of course at roxytalks.com. Click the shop tab. Now this concept is really exciting for me, this current moment revision, because this is kind of like the answer to all of it, right? If you're doing the process, if you're on top of it, if you're paying attention to what's going on in your mind, you're only allowing thoughts in that align with where you're going, and you're not letting the 3D world affect you, this little trick is going to be very important for you and very helpful because we're gonna discover exactly the moment where we have control over what happens in our world and how to not let the 3D world affect us. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So during my sessions this week, I stumbled upon this idea. I was thinking about the belief by today's most forward-thinking minds in science, Neil deGrasse Tyson, David Wilcock, people like this, who are speaking out these days about what's happening on our planet. And the common notion amongst all of the smartest people of today Today is that we are living in some sort of virtual reality machine. It's a holographic universe. It's a simulation. It's a computer game. It's a video game. This is the most current belief from the scientists of our day. This is the most up to the minute idea that they have about what we might be experiencing here on earth. And this kind of explains why we're able to manipulate what's going on here with our minds. Because if this is some sort of simulation or computer game or whatever, we do have control. We are all holding a controller, right? So we have the opportunity to make things happen on this planet. And our controller essentially is this piece of meat inside of our skull. Potentially, right? That's what we think, right? But I have a new way of thinking about this for you. This one might get a little weird. I apologize, this is brand new. Remember, we are just trying to figure out what is going on on this planet and I'm sharing that with you, okay? So if this realm is kind of like a computer game or something like that, then Earth is kind of like a 3D printer, right? Or things are being 3D printed constantly here. And this world is replicated in every moment. And our 3D printer, our Earth is just print, 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 print. It's constantly printing, constantly printing, constantly printing. It never stops printing, okay? And each one of us, every single human being is part of that printing process because all of us are printing, 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 printing in every single moment, right? This is what perpetuates the growth and the expansion of our universe. This is why we are constantly growing and learning because we each are constantly learning, growing, expanding, discovering new things about ourselves and the world, which is adding to the collective consciousness of this entire place, this entire universe, right? So when they say that our universe is expanding, it's our consciousness that is expanding it, okay? So if this world is a 3D printer and we're constantly printing, 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 we don't have control over that. We can't stop it. It never takes a day off. It never stops. There's no rest time. The printing does not stop, okay? No control there. However, we do have control over what we send to the printer, okay? Command P, that's our choice. It is our choice what gets sent to that printer, to that printer queue, and then off to the universe to let be populated in our world with our 3D printer, right? So how do we use this to our advantage, okay? How do we control this constant printing if it never turns off? Well, the obvious answer is we just pay attention to what we're printing, right? What the hell does that mean? I'm glad you asked. So. These organs on my face right here, these two little orbs that process 
the bandwidth of frequency that we call the physical world that we're able to see and interpret what we think is really real, what we think this earth is, these visual items, these organs on my face are simply collecting this data. It's just taking it in it's taking it in. It's basically taking pictures. It is like the front desk person at my big company, right? I'm the CEO and my eyeballs are sitting at the front desk. They're greeting everybody that comes in. They're paying attention. They're taking notes. They're signing people in, yada, 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 right? Okay. Now, when an image is taken in from my front desk person, from my eyeballs, these organs on my face, it is then sent up to upper management the meat in my skull, the brain, right? And the brain then takes that image and connects it to a memory, a definition, a past feeling, a habit, an idea, a whatever, right? It attaches that image that I receive from my face organs and it attaches meaning to it. It's like, here's a red apple. You generally like green apples or pink ladies. Red apples are generally mealy and soft. You're not really a fan of it. Usually when you try to bite into one, you don't like it and you never finish it, okay? That report, is then sent up to the CEO of the company, me, right? Because I'm not the eyeballs and I'm not the brain. These are my employees. They are part of the deal. They're part of the company. They are not the company. I'm the CEO here, right? I'm running the show. Once I receive the report that I've got a red apple in my hand, I then take the information I've been given from my upper management and my front desk person and I make a judgment call. Now, my report from my brain meat has told me this apple is red, I don't generally like these. They're not crunchy enough for my taste. And if I eat it, I probably will not finish it, right? So I have a choice in that moment whether or not I decide to eat that apple. And guess what? I'm probably not going to just because my brain's right. It did send me an accurate report. However, from this point forward, I have the decision of whether or not I get pissed off that this apple's red. How could my lunch be packed with a red apple? Like, I, I don't like those. Why is this here? Why is this in my reality? I don't like red apples. What the hell is it doing here? This isn't fair. I've been doing everything I can to manifest anything but red apples, and yet red apples just keep showing up. Or I could say, huh, a red apple, gross, bye, right? <laughs> Which one do you think is a little more productive? Now here's the kicker. That right there, the moment that I attach judgment to whatever it is I'm seeing, whatever it is I've just been given a report about. That moment is when I push command P. That's when I send my interpretation of this report to my parent company. And who's my parent company? The subconscious, right? And it sends it off to the printer queue. And once it's up there, it might get printed out. I'd have no control over something once I send it to the printer. Once it's gone to the queue, out of my hands, right? Not my job. Now, if I had taken the opportunity to get super offended at that red apple and be pissed that someone would think that I would dare put a red apple in these lips, no, oh my God, how dare you? If I get offended, I'm adding momentum, I'm adding weight, I'm adding emotion, I'm adding lots of ideas, I'm billowing on things that I don't like. And that is going to what? Command P, send it to the universe, hey, more of this, more of this, more of this, because I'm impressing upon it. I'm attaching, I'm adding judgment. I'm making it a big deal. It's becoming something to me, right? If I take that red apple and I just say, no, I veto it and I get that thing off my desk because I don't really want to have anything to do with it. I'm not sending that apple to the printer, okay? We send things to the printer by what we focus on, the way we attach meaning to something. If I don't give that apple a second look, whatever. And then guess what happens? The next time I get a red apple, same thing. I don't care. Not going to eat it. Just don't care about it. Now, if I take that opportunity to feel offended by this red apple and that gets printed off to the universe, that stands to reason I'm going to get more red apples in my reality because I've sent it off to the printer. I've made a big deal out of it. I've attached emotion and meaning and attention to it, which makes things grow. I'm probably going to come across a red apple again. And now that I've been offended since the last time I got one, now there's a fence attached to the red apples. Now it's not just this red apple I don't like. Now I'm offended. I told you last time I don't want a fucking red apple. Get it out of my face right? Print, print, print. We're printing, we're printing. I am not taking my job as CEO serious enough because I have the opportunity to say, I don't care. Next. You know what? I'm going to rewrite this report and I'm going to say, instead of a red apple, this is the most delicious, crispy, juicy pink lady apple I have ever tasted. Thank you universe. Now I'm going to print that. Now that's going to get sent off to the printer, right? 
because I'm attaching weight and meaning and attention to it. Yeah, hell yeah, this was the most delicious pink lady apple I've ever had. Send it off. And now I've got a pink lady apple waiting in my queue. What? Magic, right? That's magic, right? No, no, no. This is happening in every moment of your day every single moment, all day long, okay? Because here's the real deal about it. My parent company, my subconscious, the one that kind of communicates with the 3D printer and kind of handles all that business, that entity, that one never comes in contact with the person at my front door, right? My front door person, they just run the front door. They don't ever talk to the parent company of the, of the company, right? They don't have that connection. There's not a bridge. There's not an open door policy there. So I am the link between what my organs on my face say, between what the meat organ in my head decides this thing is. I decide what I send to my parent company. I decide how that report goes when I send it off to the printer, right? I have the choice. When you are confronted with something in the moment that does not align with what you want or is not the way you want it to go down, let's say it's a text message that says, I hate your guts, don't ever talk to me again, lose my number, forget my name, whatever. If you're like, ah, what, why, oh my God, no, what did I do, why, ah? and you start going down that road, print, 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 right? You're just sending it off. You're printing, 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 printing. But really, your eyeballs are just translating a bandwidth of frequency. It's not really real. Pixels on a screen are not real. Real, okay, so when you get that text message when that thing comes across your desk and you have the opportunity to veto means send it away with grace and not even give it a second thought or prove it and send it off to the printer you have the choice of how that report goes before it goes to the printer. You get to choose before it goes off to your parent company, before you let them know what's going on at home base, right? So if you get a text message that says anything but, oh, you're lovely, I miss you so much, I hope you have a great night, your eyeballs don't determine what happens in your life. Just because your eyeballs interpret that visual frequency that way and your brain tells you, uh, this might break your heart, by the way, does not mean it has to. You have a choice of what you decide to send to the printer. So what are we gonna do? Let's get our eraser out and just change that text, right? And then I was sent a text that says, have a great night, I love you, you're amazing, talk to you later. Print, because guess what? Parent company never talks to the person at the front desk. The subconscious doesn't have the eyeballs. I got the eyeballs, I'm controlling them. And they, again, they don't dictate what goes on in my life. They don't do anything except give me reports. And then I decide what those reports mean to me. And I decide what part of that meaning gets sent off to the universe to be replicated in my world, okay? So step into that role. Come back from your lunch break, sit at your CEO desk, and you pay attention to every single memo that comes across your desk. Yes, more of this. No, none of that. Don't even need to give it an attention. I'm gonna rewrite this one and make it what I want. That's your decision and that's where your power lies, okay? So I want you to comment down below. I only think thoughts that I allow myself to think. I only think thoughts that I allow myself to think because we wanna remember that we are in control in the smallest detail, right? The smallest level we have control over. So get behind that CEO desk, get comfortable in your squanchy chair and pay attention to every thought that comes across your desk and shape them the way you want. Send them off to the printer the way you want to see them show up. Because remember, you're always printing, 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 printing. So you need to ask yourself, if this thing printed out right in this moment, the way that I'm thinking about it, would I be okay with it? If your answer is anything but hell yeah, guess what? Redirect, send it off to the printer, shiny and new. That's your new job, okay? So if you'd like help getting into the mindset where you are able to pay attention to your thoughts and really think of them objectively and not subjectively, download my 30 Days of Alignment Challenge. It is what helped me change my entire way of thinking and ultimately my life. That is in the description below. You can also join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for like-minded individuals to discuss manifesting and support each other. That, of course, is in the description below. And don't forget, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching and we can discuss exactly how you take over your own CEO role. You can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at roxytalks.com and as usual the link is in the description below and while you're at my website make sure you check out the official roxy talks merch today i am featuring the self-manifested tea because we are self-manifested we're not self-made we're self-manifested because this is easy there is no struggle we just be roxy talks logo on the back head to roxytalks.com and click the shop tag to get the official merch here on the roxy talks channel i go live every monday at noon ish pst for q a and i've got new videos out every tuesday through friday so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update 
And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.